Your love is like the ocean tide Steady as the wind and fierce as fire Falling in will blur the lines And drown the fear of losing time Let's just skip the speech and do some shots. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. No. Well, we are uh, we are here to celebrate a. I'm not trying to get too deep, real quick, but we're here to celebrate a uh, forever type of love, a love that stands the test of time and will never fail. For Nate, this love hit him like a pound of bricks about 15 years ago when he met me. Wait, let me get my paper out. Most people don't have the privilege of having the most beautiful, funny, caring, and smartest sister in the world. And Lauren, I'm so glad that you can say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. From the time you were born, I've loved you. Thank you for being my biggest supporter, my best secret keeper, and my best friend, and my protector. You will always be everybody's freckled face, snaggletooth fuzzhead. <laughs> God really knew what he was doing when he created you, and I'm so glad he made us sisters and put you into my life. You know, Nate has been my best friend for over half of my life, but all in all, he's always been there for me. A true ride or die from day one. I know anytime I'm in a bind or have something on my mind, he has my back. And I know for a fact, he has your back on. I do also know that I'm not losing my best friend. I'm just gaining a sister. I do love you both from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait to witness the long, happy marriage that's starting today. I don't pressure people. Take your time. I know she's staring a hole through the back of my head right now, but uh, I hope she's excited too. Beautiful, honey. To the girl I've always dreamt about. I've been crazy about you since our first kiss. Your smile and laugh are the light at the end of my tunnel. You turn dark days into rays of hope for a great future, and I couldn't make it through life without you. Nathan, if you asked me six years ago where our life would be today, I would have wholeheartedly laughed. Today is a day that will forever be instilled in my heart. To see the man you've become has been my biggest pleasure. You truly have a heart of gold and so much love to give. I remember sitting at my Nana and Papa's house, talking to them about a boy that I had spent time with. And my Papa came around the corner, looked at me, smiling in the face, and said, you will marry that boy. From the very first time of hanging out with you, my heart seemed complete. You've held my hand through some of the hardest times in my life, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To know you is to love you, and to be loved by you is the best thing God has given me. Today I promise you my life, love, and support always. To cherish the good and bad, and be your biggest fan. This life is many things, but I know one thing for certain, and that is a beautiful life we have created and what joys are to come. I vow to be the warmth you search for at night, the yang to your yin, the peace to your serenity. I vow to protect you, take care of you, and to always have your back. 
I promise when the weight of life becomes too much to carry, I will carry it for you. I promise to be the solid, sturdy rock that you need to lean on, but also the shoulder that comforts your head at night. Most importantly, I vow to never let you go through life alone. I will love you unconditionally until my last breath. I will love you until the end of my days, and to me that will never be enough. I pray you will continue to be patient with me, love me when I'm low, endeavor new adventures together. I can't wait to see what a wonderful husband you will be, and even more so a father to our children. I will love you until the end of time, and promise to give this marriage my all. To the man I've prayed for, forever and always, I love you, Nathan. For as much as Nathan and Lauren have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and hereto have given and pledged their love each to the other and have declared the same by giving and receiving the rings. And by the power invested in me and by the laws of this state, I pronounce that they are man and woman in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Nathan, you may kiss your wife. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda got sappy on this one because I'm only funny when I'm not trying. So, I'm just gonna run it out. All right. Nate's someone you can rely on and gravitate towards in any situation because you know he's gonna go out and give you 110% every time and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to apply that work ethic that everyone respects and admires to the beautiful marriage. I want to thank Danielle and Albert for bringing life to someone that I can call one of my best friends and a brother for life. You guys are a crucial piece in my life and I cannot wait to see you all raise a beautiful family in years to come. God bless and I love you guys. As we both enter these new phases of our lives, I pray that God blesses your marriage in more ways than you could ever imagine and that he continues to be the center of your relationship together. I love you both so much, and I will always be in your corner. So, let's raise a toast to the Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. Yeah.